If you are curious what the real difference is between a box, a bricks, and a case of 22 ammunition, hang out for this entire video and you will know the actual real difference between the two and how they are defined. Now the reason I'm making this video is because somebody blew up my comments saying, you don't know what you're talking about, there is no such thing as a 550 brick of ammunition, and there sure as shit ain't a sure thing of 325. Now, they are 50% right, but if you're 50% right, that makes you 100% wrong. I had done a post in my community trying to bait them into coming up with the answer on themselves. This way I didn't have to explain it, but they jumped right in the comment, and again, name calling, etc. So, to label something, you need qualifiers. What qualifies to make a brick of ammunition. Now, before I get into this, let's actually go through what they are. To the whiteboard of knowledge, a box of 22 ammunition is 50 rounds. A brick, 500. Case, 5,000. Pallet, 50,000. Truckload, 500,000. Semi-load, 5 million. So that, they're, they're right on. That is exactly what they are. But where they're having troubles is telling the difference, where does a really big box turn into a brick? Where does a really big brick turn into a case? Now there's actually an answer to this and it comes down to marketing and shipping. So what I had probed them with to try to come up with the answer themselves, I said, if I took 10 of these 50 round boxes, set them here on the table, do I have a brick? And if not, why? Okay, now what if I took that brick with these individual boxes, opened them up, dumped all the ammunition in that box that it originally came in, is that a brick? If not, why? What if I took 500 rounds of ammunition and put it in a quick trip cup? Is that a brick? If not, why? What if I even leave it in these 50 round packs? Is that 10 50 round packs in a quick trip cup? Or is that a brick of ammunition? So here's how it breaks down. The actual definer between brick, box, case, blah, 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 blah. So ammunition is sent to us in a very specific way. It's supposed to be sold in a very specific way. Unfortunately, with the whole Booga flu, that changed because they're like, I don't care if I'm paying extra, I need this amount of ammunition, sell me what you got. So if I order a brick that has individual boxes in it, that is not meant to be sold as a brick. That brick is meant to be opened up. Those individual boxes are meant to be put out. This way, when somebody buys a 22 rifle or pistol, because 22s are so ammo sensitive, they could buy a box of each, see what works in their firearm, and then they can start buying bricks of that particular type of ammunition. So they're not investing a whole bunch of money into a brick that doesn't work out of their gun. How to tell the difference when something is meant to be sold in a particular way. See how this has all the manufacturer's packaging on it, their label, it's got 22 long rifle, it says the feet per second, it's got your warning label on it. This is meant to be sold as a box of 50. Now what about this? We got CCI. This is a brick of 300. Is it meant to be sold as a brick of 300 or is it meant to be broken down into smaller pieces? Let's go inside and take a look. Yes, it is broken into boxes of, what is it? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It is broken down into containers of 50. But notice there's no individual packaging. There is no writing on it. There's no warning labels. This is meant to be sold as a brick of 300. All your packaging individual this is not meant to be broken down any farther than this this brick of 325 
It's loose. It is not meant to be broken down any farther than this. If I bought a box of rifle ammunition, no individual packaging. This is not to be meant to be sold separately. It's meant to be sold as a complete box. And that was another thing I'd asked them. I'm like, so what if I have a brick of 500 and I take one cartridge out? Is that still a brick? What if I added one cartridge? Is that still a brick? And if not, what separates them? And that's where everybody seems to be having the problem. Because I even jumped on Google to see what Google says. And no, nobody knows the difference between a brick and a box. I understand they wouldn't know the difference between a case, a pallet, a truckload, and a semi-load. But where does it separate? When does this box turn into this brick? So, if you were to have five or more when it comes to math, you always round up to the next number. Therefore, if I have four boxes and they're individually packed, I have four 50 round boxes of ammunition. What they do is once you hit past four, which would be what, 200, so 225 and better, they start putting it in bricks. This would be a brick. Now it's not 500, but it's over five of boxes. So then it gets moved up to brick. Now when it comes to a case, yes, I can order a case of these, but it's meant to be broken down into boxes. So what I'm ordering is a case of boxes because it would not be beneficial to ship these separately they put it in a case. I can order a case of bricks. Now where does it separate the difference? Because I could take a brick of ammunition and just dump it into a giant cardboard box with a plastic bag in there and I can keep adding to it, but it doesn't officially become a case until you get past five. Well, past four, so would be, what, 2,000 rounds. Anything past 2,000 rounds, now it's a case. It's no longer a giant brick. So if I have a brick of 325, that would be called a small brick, but yet it's still a brick. If I have a brick of 550, that is a big brick, but it's still a brick. If I have a brick of 1,000, that is still a brick. It is not a case yet because I have not broke over 2,000 rounds of ammunition. I haven't went past five. Now, for cases into pallets, the reason it's 10. So where does officially cases, if I have five cases, would that be a pallet? Now, that comes down to your dolly cart. So to go past this, the next step would be a pallet jack and a pallet. Now, why four? Typically, it would probably actually be three where it would be considered a pallet because you can get pallets of multiple sizes. So, this is not a case of 22 ammo. I'm just using it as a fill-in. You're going to have to use your imagination here. That's one, two, three. Yes, I could fit a fourth one on here. And that would probably be considered safe. Any more than four, they're going to have to start going up my arms. I could probably hold six if I'm a consumer like this. But if OSHA walked in and I worked for Federal Ammunition and I was loading up a truck like this with boxes up my arms, they would fist me to death. They would sue the crap out of Federal. They'd probably shut the whole thing down. So anything past four, because labor is your most expensive cost, it's more beneficial to put it on a pallet because I could have one guy do twice as much work in half the amount of time. So instead of him, instead of sending him back and forth with a dolly cart, getting cases, now we're moving up to a pallet. So anything more than four cases would be considered a pallet. And that also comes down to shipping. If I have a pallet and it's loaded on a truck, yes, I could send that to UPS. They could razor blade that bad boy open. They can load that into their UPS trucks and send it to me, but depending on the distance, we're looking at a very high shipping cost. It's cheaper to hire a straight truck. 
Now a straight truck can actually hold 10 pallets, but you never want to go that much because then you're paying the whole cost. So if I have a single pallet, I'd load it on a straight truck from a shipping depot. There'd be like, there'd be like 10 or 12 other companies that would also load crap on that straight truck. So you'd split the cost. Because renting that straight truck myself, let's say I filled it completely up, we're looking anywhere from $275 a mile up to five bucks a mile. Your average is probably about $350, $4 a mile. Or at least that's what I get paid to move my truck. So if I bought an entire straight truck of ammunition, say I had 10 pallets, and I sent that through, depending on how far I'm going, you're looking at four bucks a mile. So anything past half the straight truck where I can't cut the shipping costs with someone else, it's beneficial to me to put it on a semi-trailer then. So anything past four pallets, that would be a semi-load of ammunition. Anything past four cases would be a pallet of ammunition. For example, that Brandon AK guy, I keep seeing videos with him doing runs across the country renting a Penske. He is losing his ass. He just hasn't figured it out yet. It's way cheaper to hire someone like me to go over there and get it. It would be a one-way trip because then you'd only have to pay one way. Yeah, on paper it looks great. You're like, oh, I'm just paying for fuel. I'm just renting the truck. Good to go. You're not figuring in your hotel stays, your food, <coughs> and then the fact that he makes YouTube videos. It appears he's gone for a week. So let's say he spent that whole week making seven YouTube videos. He, on average, he gets like, what, a thousand... 100,000 views when he drops the video, sometimes as low as 50,000. The money from that and his time, he's paying a lot to go get it himself. It's way, way cheaper just to hire a shipping company. And that's why the whole truckload thing comes in. Past, what do we got here? Four pallets, it's no longer beneficial to pay UPS or FedEx. It's better just to keep it on a pallet and put it into a truck. Get past four pallets, then it's better to put it onto a semi. And that's how it breaks down. It comes down to marketing and shipping. Anything past five of a quantity, and the official is 50 rounds a box. So four of these is four 50 round boxes. Five or more, they would dump it into a complete container. This way you're removing the packaging, making it cheaper, and this would be considered a brick. This would be considered a brick all the way up to over 2,000 rounds. Then it goes into a small case. Then it remains a case until you hit a pallet. Yeah, because then you just have multiple cases. But that's actually how it breaks down. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to view my long-winded video, but unfortunately I had to do this. I couldn't just call this a brick, and I couldn't just call this a box because people are freaking out about it. And if there's two people in the comments freaking about it, out about it, there's at least 20 people that didn't leave a comment. And when I went on Google, nobody knew what the hell they were talking about. They said exactly 500 rounds makes a brick. $4.99, it's a giant box. 501, it's no longer a brick, it's something else. If you'd like to help support the channel, you can always click on my Patreon. I do have affiliate links in the description. Even if you don't buy what the link is for, just clicking on that link and shopping off of Amazon and buying shit you're already going to buy anyway, I get a little bit of kickback for it. If you'd like to check out any of my other videos, click on the links up here. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.